Hey guys, my name's Ashley. This is my cat Lalo, and this is my dog Miho. I don't know what she's doing. So interested. I'm sure it's because there's treats in here, but let's not let's not do that right now. I am doing like a study with me kind of session. Pretty much what I'm going to be doing in these videos, in these upcoming videos, is just uh, choosing a topic that I've been studying uh, because I'm taking the Vitney in December. And if I if I ever say anything that isn't correct, remember I'm learning, so like, be nice, um, but definitely, definitely, definitely correct me. Write in the comments and say um, X, Y, and Z is uh, not correct. This is it. This is the correct information. And then link like where you can actually uh, get the information so I can learn also um so yeah just i i'm 100 percent okay with being corrected because i i really want to learn i'm just gonna go right into it today i want to talk about rabies okay so i have my little notes here i'll show you the front and the back of it um and I'll be looking down at this because I don't have this memorized. I'm not a teacher. This isn't something that I know off the top of my head, which is why I'm doing these videos. Okay, go. So rabies. What is rabies? Rabies is a viral disease. What that means is that it um, you can get exposure. Pretty much it's passed through the saliva. And what happens is that there's like an incubation period where um, it takes a certain amount of time for that virus to actually affect your body and show signs. So we'll go over all of that. So rabies, it causes inflammation of the brain in humans and other mammals. So that's like once the rabies, once the virus is um, in your system and it's like fully, you know, attacking you, um, its main its main point is the brain and that's where you're going to be testing and that's why we have the clinical signs that we have for rabies so there are three stages um stage number one and like i said correct me if i'm wrong but i think you say it pro prodromal prodromal stage that is the first stage and what you're going to see with that is you're going to see attitude change so they're going to be like um they're gonna go from a certain attitude to a more shy, um, nervous, anxious kind of attitude, right? So like, um, if you have like a hyper dog, if they have exposure, which we'll talk about later, if they have exposure to um, an animal with rabies and then you see their behavior changing, that could be a stage, the prodromal stage, the first stage of rabies. Um, the second stage is the furious stage. So when you think of furious, obviously like angry, not fast and furious. I've never watched any of those movies. Anyway, so um, you'll see aggressiveness. So you're going to see biting and snapping. So like my dog here, he doesn't, he's literally like not aggressive at all. Um, but if he has exposure and then all of a sudden I'm seeing this like change in him he's becoming shy or anxious and then he's becoming um what what do you see what do you see rabies no um so if if he's becoming if he's biting me or like trying to bite me or trying to attack me or trying to attack other animals this is not this is not characteristic of him then um that would be considered the furious stage um then the third stage uh let's see oh, okay so like a little side note for that if um if they're in the furious stage um and they're biting and, and snapping at people and they bite you that's how they that's how um, animals spread, or that is how the virus is spread. Um, the virus is spread by through saliva. So then the third stage is the paralytic stage. Uh, paralytic stage, paralyzed. So you're gonna think of that. They become, their muscles um, aren't functioning properly. And then uh, they have a loss in ability to swallow, um, which equals like, which causes like hyper salivation. Um, so I think the furious stage and the paralytic stage, you know, when you kind of think of rabies on, on your own, you think of that like crazy rabid animal that's just like, um, like foaming at the mouth and coming at you and trying to attack you. Uh, when in fact, most of the time, um, it takes about three to eight weeks. So if you think about it, one to two months for 
for these animals to show any of these signs. So uh, most of the time they're asymptomatic, they're not showing signs um, until one to two months. And then also there's not like a set stage, like a set time frame for like when these things happen, um, when these stages happen. So um, it's kind of, you have to kind of look out for all of these things to be happening. Um, if there has been exposure. So then how do you, how do doctors diagnose rabies? So they, uh, the, the test for rabies is a direct fluorescent, uh, what is it? Direct fluorescent antibodies test. And that, that test is kind of like a general test for antibodies, right? Um, but specifically for rabies, what they're gonna do is euthanize, obviously they have to be euthanized because it, it's in it's in that part in 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 the brain right so there's inflammation of the brain so in order to figure out if an animal has rabies or not you have to test the brain you cut you take pieces or you take like a biopsy or uh, parts of the cerebellum and what other part the cerebellum and the stem and the brain stem um, so these two um, these two parts are tested at the lab. Um, you'll send it out. So um, usually it's done like during a necropsy or something like that. How do you manage rabies if an animal has been exposed? So first we have to understand like what does exposure mean, right? So um, exposure isn't, uh, I have two examples here. So scenario number one, um, you you, as in you, the pet owner, gets bit by um, your vaccinated healthy pet. Um, you did something to him. He uh, you know, turns around and bites you, snaps at you or whatever. Um, you don't have rabies, you have not been exposed, they are vaccinated, they are healthy animals. Um, uh, scenario number two, if your pet gets bit by uh, an animal that you consider rabid, like maybe he gets bit by a raccoon or maybe he gets bit by a bat or something like that, that's when you're looking at exposure. That doesn't mean that they automatically have rabies because you don't know, but um, at that point you would want to take your vet pet into the veterinarian and um, have them have them looked at. And so from there, if your pet has been exposed, you will. Um, there are different there are different ways to manage. So um, if a pet is up to date on rabies so if every year you go in and you take if every year you or a, an owner a client comes in and um, brings their pet in every year for um, the rabies vaccine and they are up to date on that vaccine you're gonna treat this actually the same exact way as you would treat maybe a pet who is six months overdue or one year overdue um, on their rabies but as long as they have gotten they've actually gotten their rabies vaccine what you're gonna do is booster vaccinate immediately so as soon as this thing happens you see oh my dog got bit or oh this this oh, this client's dog got bit tell them come in we're gonna vaccinate and then this is what you're gonna do they're gonna be kept under the owner supervision so they can be kept at the house um, at the owner's house for 45 days but you're gonna keep them you know prevent them most likely from being around other animals because obviously you're trying to see if they have rabies if if there's a possibility that they have rabies you don't want them around other animals so you need to keep them under some sort of control within your house also you need to be very very careful you you as in like the owner or you as in like the um, you know, whoever the client is who's bringing in their pet, they need to be very uh, careful because it can be, it's something that can be spread to people. It's zoonotic disease. Um, and then if they're not vaccinated, like this animal is not vaccinated at, at all, um, you need to either euthanize immediately, which is super sad, or um, the owner, the client, the owner, um, can vaccinate within 96 hours of exposure and um, strict four to six months of hospitalization of hospitalization but like quarantine in a hospital with staff that are rabies vaccinated and um, they can um, prevent like the spread and everything like that this is a really long time um, I, I do say four to six months because okay so my husband is um, a vet student and his all of his notes and everything say four months um, but in the notes that I have from other sources it says six months so I'll just say four to six months just for you know just to cover up CYA, what is it? Cover your piney. Um, and then, uh, so side note, 
side note, side note, once, um, once these pets show those signs, the, um, Primordial, the Furious, and the, what is it? <laughs> Primordial, Furious, and Paralytic stage, uh, they, there's nothing you can really do about it. Um, you can, the owner can choose to, uh, quarantine. You, you, it's most likely that the pet's going to be euthanized at that point. If they're already showing signs and you already know that, you know, they have been exposed and they're showing signs, it's most likely um, going to be euthanasia that happens. Um, and if the owner just like really, 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 I think if they really just don't want the pet to be euthanized, then um, they can, I think it's like vaccinate the same thing, follow the process. So vaccinate, quarantine, and then see, um, you know, if they get better or not. And, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that kind of like little tiny review on rabies. We're going to only be talking about veterinary technician stuff on this channel. I don't know what I'm going to talk about next time uh, because I just wanted to test this video out. So just keep an eye out. Hopefully I'll have a lot more videos coming out kind of back to back so we can all study together and pass this fit me test in December. Anyway, see you next time. <laughs>